Hi guys! <laughs> Happy, beautiful, and blessed Monday to everyone. I hope everybody's having a fantastic, a beautiful day. Out here in New York, it's about 7 o'clock, a little bit after 7, maybe 7, 10. Um, for those that are new, welcome to my channel. I am Marisol. If this is the first time that you are watching and you enjoy this video, please consider liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell. Make that a little bit brighter. So that you can get notified whenever I make another video. Please share my videos with your dolly friends. Um, so that you can help me grow my channel. And also guys, I have to mention, thank you very, very much for those that are actually have for those that have actually been sharing my channel uh, i do see my channel growing um welcome to everyone welcome 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 to the new um subscribers um i appreciate each and every one of you the ones that have shared my videos and the ones that are just you know have subscribed and are just here i appreciate everyone i thank you very very much um i hope you stick around and we can share each other's babies <laughs> Um, for all my every day faithful watchers, I don't make videos every day, but like every day, you know, my ride or dies. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up, guys? <laughs> what's up to everyone? So, guys, you know why we're here, right? You know why we're here, right? I'm not gonna upload this video until um um the video of clips of me making this baby is uploaded and then this is the grand reveal which is not so grand <laughs> i shouldn't say that i gotta tell you so i gotta tell you guys this is of course this is my silicone baby he's a partial a baby a partial silicone baby that i've um you know did um clips showing my um my journey doing him and I got to tell you guys, he's super a boo-boo baby. Um, um, I started like with on a fail because I said like in the video like a thousand times, uh, this so happened to be a, um, this was an AliExpress doll that I purchased, um, a partial silicone that I purchased, purchased for like a little bit over a hundred dollars and I didn't know it was a uh tin silicone so the silicone that i was using excuse me it was absolutely not for this type of silicone it's it, it, it was so i was doomed from the very beginning i was doomed <laughs> the silicone paint was not um really sticking um it was just doing a lot guys a lot on top of the whole fact that it was my first time trying this i didn't know but i still used it as a practice um kit and this baby will be mine in my collection just because it's my first silicone and i um you know it I, eventually it will peel the silicone or the paint will peel off of this type of silicone because it doesn't match so with no further ado, let me show you my baby. <laughs> this is my mud baby, okay? Because he looked like he was playing in the mud. He looked like he was a beat up, okay? He looked like he, like we dropped him a couple of times. He fell, he fell to the floor right out of my uterus. That's what happened, okay? I pushed him so hard. I said, that he said, poop, poop, bah, and he fell. He's all bruised up, and he's jacked up. But this is what came out. I'm only joking, guys. Like I said, I already knew from the beginning. Um, I found out that he was tin silicone because my teacher, um, Michelle Elizabeth, she's um, she's the one that's really been teaching, you know, talking to me, encouraging me, telling me, you got this, you could do it, you can do it. So... Um, she's been super encouraging to me and I love her so, so very much. And I really do appreciate her, but, um, she was the one that discovered that he was, uh, tin silicone. She was like, Oh no. Once she seen the scope, she was like, Oh no, Marisol, he is tin silicone. I think, excuse me guys. I am so yearning. She was like back in the days, um, that scope was made out of tin. She was like, I don't know, maybe. It's changed now, so because it's an AliExpress, she said, 
um, wash them with acetone. She said, give them a good wash with acetone. And then she told me to wash them with um, Dawn and, you know, water, of course. And she told me to dab them dry and to put them on paper towel to see if, like, oils will leak out of him. And it did. And then I did it again. I washed them again. And I dabbed them dry. And I put them on there for, like, 24 hours. And again, it was the same thing. So... Moving forward, she said, so that I can practice, um, being that, you know, I had already purchased him and I couldn't get my money back. Um, she told me to um, kind of like get, give him a code of silicone, of A and B silicone, um, and to just to kind of like seal seal the his, his, his tin silicone to seal it. And then maybe we could use that as a canvas so that I can practice. And that's what I did, guys. So that was my practice, baby. But moving forward, it was like the silicone really wasn't sticking to it. Um, I, I was globbing like paint on there and it wasn't sticking. And um, and also that was just, you know, that was just like, I, I'm not making an excuse because of the. Okay, it's not an excuse. That's actually what went on with the silicone itself. It's made out of tin and this is the wrong silicone. So the paint wasn't sticking onto it, but granted um i'm just saying that i started off um on a bad foot because you know it was it was messed up the silicone the 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 scope itself wasn't the proper scope for the paint that i had the silicone that that i had and then on top of that i did not mix the paint the very best and you know he was sticking he has like he was sticking like i'm gonna show you guys so anyways but that being moving forward you know it was a practice i love him because um, he's my first baby that I, um, that I did. Excuse me, guys. I don't know why I'm yawning. I ate. I'm not tired. I really didn't do anything. I just did one errand today and I didn't even have to cook. All I did was like, I threw some chicken that I had already seasoned. Um, like the day before yesterday it was nicely seasoned and I just, I threw it in an oven with some barbecue sauce and I already had rice i have fresh beans and my brother went he has an appointment tomorrow so he went to my daughter's house because it's closer for him to travel um if he leaves in the morning um from her house so that's what he usually does and i send them with the food for, so that they can eat over there and so i've been i had really pretty fan, fabulous um monday but anyways guys um let me show you some of some of him. Let me show you my little my boy. This is my boy. You see how muddy he is, guys. Oh, mommy, you love me. Oh, and I gave him lashes, guys. I gave him some lashes. I was like, why not? Let's give you some lashes and make you fabulous. Okay, guys. So let me show you his head, right? And this is what he looks like, guys. Okay, this is this is him. And I'm going to show you, like, down here. I put a lot of red last minute. But you see down here the way it wasn't sticking? Well, that was basically happening, like, on his cheek. That's why his cheek is super dark right here. Because, it, it, I mean, nothing was sticking on there. And his eye, his eye, too, which you could... I put that much silicone or even more on his eye. And you could still see that it's light right there. Because it wasn't sticking. Right? And... I gave him too much. I went too... Uh, I'm not being judgmental on my own. I am, but it's okay because that's how I learn, right? So I don't take it like, oh, Marissa, you're being negative. A lot of people think that I'm being negative. I'm not. I'm judging my own. You guys can see he looks like mud. But um, it's good that I can criticize myself so I can be, you know, we are, we are our own worst critics. But this is really like, I know like what I can't do next time. But um, you see... Uh, you see, it's like really muddy looking here. I piled up the silicone there too because it wasn't sticking. And then on top of that, you see those bubbles, like those things, because it was like sticking onto like when I would like position the hand like this, like for it to dry, it would stick. So moving forward in the future, um, if I do make a... Um, if I do make a partial silicone, I'm going to hang the limbs. I did that like the last, oh, look, and he has a big old, oh, no, okay. 
Okay. So I thought it was a hair that was stuck. So it's right there too. You see how it's like peeling? Well, it's not peeling, but it was just, you know, it was stick to the bow, guys. It would stick to like wherever I would lean it on. It would stick. It would dry when it would cure. It would it would dry. And um and it has that. But um also the matting the matting it, the sealing and the matting process. Whoa, that powder, guys, like moving forward, like I gave him little lashes. Oh, it's just a little mean mud boy. I gave him too much. The red, the modeling was it's way too deep. I have to go uh, way lighter next time on the blues, the reds, and stuff like that. And um, maybe use um, a thinner brush for veining and stuff like that. But like I said, you know, guys, it was it was really like fun. And I'm actually um, in the midst. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this as well. Um, he's a little bit shiny right here, which um, Michelle showed me. She taught me. I see. You see it shiny right there? You can see it. I can see it on the camera. So the inside of his leg is shiny right there. She showed me how, she told me I could just mix some some silicone A and B and just dab it and then just repowder it. Easy fix, right? Easy fix. But to be honest with you, I'm not, and then over here too. Over here too, I didn't show it, but it's right there too. Um, It's an easy fix. She told me, you know, um, I could definitely fix him. But guys, honestly, I'm not. This is just like I wanted to um, just experience the matting process as well, you know. Cause she, she, Michelle was like, you know, at this point, she was just like, just leave him as is and move to the next sculpt, which I'm already, I've, I've already, you know, been painting the next uh, silicone, the the other ones that I have are full body silicones. Um, so she was like, leave him alone, just leave him as is, and let's move on to the next process, to the next sculpt. Um, don't even waste your silicone on this baby. That's exactly what she told me. And that was a very smart um, suggestion. But at that point, I was like, so I'm going to give him, I'm going to dress him. I'm going to give him these little blue socks. And um, I picked this little preemie outfit yesterday at... Um, Hmm. Burlington's and it comes with a little hat it's white and it has little uh blue and brown uh, bicycles it's the bicycles are blue and brown and it has some of the uh bikes have a puppy a basket with a puppy in the basket and this was five dollars 4.99 and we're gonna give this to him so um so yeah, she told me uh, moving forward just to leave them, put them aside. She was like, "Don't even waste your, you know, your any more silicone A and B on this or paints and stuff like that." She was just like, "Just move on to the next, um, you know, to the to the full body," which is really really smart. But then I was like, "I'm just gonna like," I didn't even tip his nails. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't continue doing anything extra. I just really wanted to, I was like, hey, I'm already in it, right? Why not? You know, I wanted to actually experience sealing and matting him. And I did. And guys, that's what I want to tell you. That matting powder, Michelle was like, use two masks, right? And she said also to double double gloves because she said that the the silicone powder, the it's called velvet silicone or silicone velvet something like that she was just she said it's really rough on the hands she was like you do not want it on your hands and she said and you don't want to inhale it she was like it's very fine and it just like poofs and like she was like honestly you got to wear two masks and i did wear two masks guys and moving forward today after using that um that silicone powder i i'm i already am gonna order um a um a painter's mask she told me to order a painter's mask. Um, and I'm definitely going to do that because I just, I can't, I can't do that. So I can fix this, but I'm not going to fix it because like I said, it was a practice. Now I'm over it. I experienced what I wanted to experience with this baby. And I'm, um, you know, I'm just going to be very mindful of moving forward with the next silicone, which I'm already in it. I'm already in the mix of painting the other one. Um, I'm going to work on it tomorrow. I'm going to work on it this whole week. I'm going to work on the other one. The other one is a full body silicone. And, and also today I ordered another full body silicone. So, so far I have 
one more of the same scope that I that I'm working on now, the full body silicone. I have another one of those. So, because I bought two of the same ones. I don't know why I did that, but it's okay. I bought two of those, and then I bought a Saskia full body silicone, and today I bought another one. I ordered another one. Because, guys, eyes are not stopping. Okay, eyes are not stopping. Um, it is definitely... I still can't tell you that I can't... I cannot make a decision on, oh, do I like uh, silicone or vinyl mo more which one i like more i can't i can't say which one i like yet, yet most because um this was ch challenging um it was challenging but it was enjoyable okay so where where you know um i came across some challenges it wasn't that it's not a serious thing like oh my gosh the world is ending you know what i'm saying or like, or I, I like it discouraged me into stopping. It did not do that at all. Um, it actually encouraged me to continue. You know what I'm saying? So I like, kind of like make my wrongs right in the next scope. And um, another thing is, guys, is like when I first painted my first um, reborn vinyl, I, I felt the same exact way I feel right now. Like, you know... I, the way I felt like painting silicone for the first time, I felt the same feelings when I was doing um, vinyl for the first time. You know what I'm saying? I and I didn't stop with the vinyl. I'm I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually stumped because with that because I have so many exciting scopes that I really really want to paint and I want to sell, guys. I want to sell some a lot of a lot of scopes um, of the vinyls. I really want to paint them, and um, I have some for myself that I have. I literally have, like, four scopes that I washed, and I have uh, set aside, um, covered, and washed so that they don't get no dust or dirty or anything like that. I have them set aside because I've been whining. I am so sorry that I am yawning, guys. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. I'm tired. I'm just, I'm, I don't know I'm tired. I'm just, like, um, very relaxed. I'm not tired. I'm relaxed. But, um, I, um, oof, um, I have a lot of scopes that I paint that I, uh, wash and have a, uh, set aside, uh, to, um, to paint for myself. I have a lot. And then I have some that I want to, um, paint and sell. So, um, I cannot do it. I cannot have the... I cannot be painting silicone. I look busted, guys. <laughs> um, I cannot have the, my silicone stuff out and my um my vinyl paints out. I can't do. I can't do. I mean, if I had a lot of space, guys, I would be able to like you know one corner have my silicone set up and um stuff set up, and then on the other side have my vinyl stuff and then I'll be able to do in between because um it's a two hour process in between um the silicone um curing um I do have a heat gun I do have a heat gun um but I don't really think moving forward I don't really think I'm going to use it much I don't think I am the, um it makes a very big difference so with the with the heat gun with the with the art heat gun um you dry you cure like in 10 5 to 10 minutes your your work is cured and then you can move on to um you know to the next layer and stuff and i mean it, it wouldn't take all these like days you know it wouldn't take days or you know hours but you know guys like time it's no rush you know what i'm saying i'm not rushing um so like if i had the space set up that i could if i had space that i could set up um like one area for silicone one area for vinyl that would be great because i could just work on the silicone a little bit and then just while it cures in two hours i can just work on layers of a vinyl scope and that would that, that would work out actually pretty good but guys my apartment i promise you my apartment is 
super cluttered, okay, with doll stuff. I have bins and bins and like, you know, those plastic drawer bins and also bins of doll clothes, like an, an excessive, retarded, <laughs> non, um, non explainable, you know, amount um of of these of stuff and the dolls guys and then you know today guys another thing today i was like literally sitting down and just i, I don't know what i was like what made me think that i don't even know where the heck i put i must i have to i have to look i have some bins and i really have to look because i am really missing a lot of dolls i don't know what the hell where they're at i don't know where they're at like I don't know where they're at. I must have put them away. Oh, baby. You're so stinking. Oh, he looks cute for his first little outfit. You see, mommy gave you a cute little outfit. You're so cute. I love you. I love him. I really do. I love him because he's my first experience, you know? So, yeah, I love him. And I made him nice and heavy. I gave him, you know, I gave him some weight. Um, and I love him. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta gloss his lips. Oh, Michelle showed me how to, she told me how to gloss his lips. So I'm definitely gonna gloss his lips. The next time you see this little Amat baby, you will see him with gloss and lips. And we're gonna give you some outfit change until you start peeling. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. I'm gonna peel. Boop, boop. I was playing in mud. Boop, boop. I'm the mud baby. <laughs> this is my little mud boy guys look at him guys he's so cute he's so cute he's so cute he's so cute he's so ugly he's cute that's what it is he's also ugly he's cute i'm gonna definitely gloss his lips i forgot to gloss your lips i gave you i gave you lashes but i forgot to gloss his lips that's okay i'm gonna gloss them like right now Oh my goodness, this is a little baby. This is my baby. This is my little, little mud boy. This is my mud boy, yeah. This is my mud baby. I love his lips. I love his face. Uh, I, 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 love, I love the scope. Um, and I love him because he was my first experience. I just don't love the work I did on it, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so yeah guys that is uh, my little boy but yeah guys like i was saying i think uh, uh before i really interrupted myself i don't know what i did with i that that brooklyn which i rooted like with like freaking tons and tons and tons of hair i rooted her i don't know she's she's a she's a ginger baby i rooted her with red hair i don't know where she's at I have, um, I think the scope is Abigail, that she has like that, that open mouth, uh, expression. I don't know what she's at. Like, I was thinking yesterday, uh, this morning, and I was like, wait, what did I do with those dolls? Like, where are they? So, I don't know if they're, they have to be, they have to be here. I'm thinking... I don't know, guys. I just have a bin over there by the window, and I'm going to have to open it up and see if they're in there. I don't know wh where they're at. I really don't know where they're at. But anyways, guys, that is my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, and you follow me um, on my, um, you know, journey of painting silicone. Um, like I said, please. Oh, also, please, guys, hit the bell, the like bell. Bing! Please, that'll help me. Um, it'll help, you know, my video get distributed out into the algorithm. algorithm. I think that's how they call it. I don't know. But, yeah, it'll be, it'll, my videos, that'll, that helps my videos get suggested to other people that watch, like, doll videos and stuff like that. It'll help my videos go out there and you know you could be helping my channel grow guys i appreciate each and every one of you guys i love you guys so much i appreciate you guys guys thank you so very much for always giving me your time because you know guys time can never be replaced okay like that's something that's very valuable um you can never replace you know time right 
So I re really want to thank you all for watching and, you know, supporting me and just giving me love. I love you guys so, so very much. And guys, guys, what do we say at the end of the videos? So well, so long. I'll see you soon. <laughs> no, guys, keep God first. Say a prayer. Be thankful, be grateful, and be kind to one another. And live your best life, guys, okay? Don't let stress or people take um, your joy or your happy, okay? Because tomorrow's never promised. So enjoy today and be be happy, okay? Be as happy as you can be, guys. I love you guys so much, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Mr. Mud Boy. Bye, guys. <laughs>